work in a secondary school. I've just gone back after the Christmas holidays. I've got a cold, as you can probably tell. And um, this is a piece I wrote last year on the first day back after the summer holidays. This morning, I took a sleeping pill instead of an allergy tablet. <laughs> Both blister packs strewn on my cluttered nightstand, I instinctively grabbed the nearest one in my 6am subconscious state, popped and dry swallowed, then stared at the label until the word diphenhydramine came into focus. Still technically an antihistamine, <laughs> but a larger dose. <laughs> Brain still not awake, I couldn't remember if I'd actually taken the tablet even though only seconds had passed. When the sedative effects began to kick in at work, I lied to myself. It's psychosomatic. You didn't take that pill. You're fine. It's the same mantra I've repeated to myself over and over. The shovel I used to bury my trauma, wrapping myself in denial like a comfort blanket. The kids enter the class. All shaped edges and shiny jackets spilling summer holiday stories onto clean exercise book pages. A pen lid is thrown. Names are called. A poster is defaced. Low level disruption. <laughs> and I remain uncharacteristically calm. <laughs> I get out an A3 roll of coloured paper and I ask the students to help me write a list of class rules. The boy who threw the pen lid responds first. Respect each other. We agree on our rules and I scribe them. I pass the poster around the room and one by one we all sign our names. Next time I hear a kid swear, I don't lose my temper. I point to rule number five, then to her signature underneath. I have plans for this evening. My energy levels have been low and I default to slumping in bed after work. Tonight will be different. I return home and dump my things on the floor. My head suddenly feels too heavy for my neck. I'll just rest it on my pillow for a moment. I wake at 10pm. Thank you.